Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Smash and today I'm bringing you a video about base building. We're going to be looking at all the different blocks that we can use to build bases. I'm going to be giving you guys some beginner tips about using your resources wisely, especially in the beginning of the game. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at every individual block. We're going to be looking at their shapes and also how to upgrade them, how to craft them. So over here what I did was I went ahead and put together a chart and just to show you guys a few things so um, aside from all the other blocks when you're looking at the concrete blocks you know you're gonna see the recipe up at the top stone sand and cement is gonna be your concrete mix concrete mix is what's gonna be used to make what is called wet concrete blocks and then at the bottom you're gonna see iron and clay is gonna be our recipe for rebar and rebar is actually related to concrete because once you lay down your rebar frame it is going to upgrade all the way up to reinforced concrete and how you're gonna make some of these items what I'm gonna do is just show you something real quick so inside the cement mixer you're gonna notice over here on the left hand side there's some recipes in the cement mixer um, so down at the almost at the bottom is the concrete mix you're gonna see the recipe for that it's gonna take one crushed sand one small stone and one cement now um, something about cement is when we go inside the forge what you're gonna notice is that one unit of cement is going to cost you 12 stone now it takes 10 units of cement to make 10 concrete mix which is the minimum that you're going to need to upgrade any block to concrete so yes it's going to take you 120 stone um, and then also uh, once you go into the uh, cement mixer it's also going to cost you uh, another 10 stone so it's basically 130 stone is what it's going to take to make one concrete block now, uh, if you notice over here, we've got our wet concrete block, and then again, it does take 10 concrete mix. And so, you may be wondering, like, well, why do I want to build with wet concrete blocks when I can just make concrete mix and upgrade my current block to concrete and reinforce concrete? Well, let's go into uh, the different blocks in here, and I'm going to answer that question in just a second. So, when you take a look at the wooden frames, what you're going to notice is there is a total of 50 shapes and the wood frames have the most amount of shapes out of all the blocks so if you're into aesthetics if you're into advanced base building and you want to make your base look really nice and very detailed you know the wooden shapes are going to offer 50 um, when we go out into the uh, wet concrete blocks you're going to notice that we've got a total of 48 shapes now when you're upgrading a current block whatever block it is to concrete the that concrete block is basically gonna stay whatever shape that it was when you upgraded it um, so if you're really into using concrete and you want more shapes this is how you're gonna access that now you could upgrade the wood block shapes there may be some differences in the actual shape so you want to take a look at all the different shapes when you're getting to aesthetics and decide hey you know which which building block is the best and just kind of go from there um, and then you're gonna notice here with the flagstone uh, it comes in third place with 39 shapes uh, also the iron frames which I kind of don't recommend using in general but we'll get into that later you know it's got 31 shapes and then again our rebar which is going to have a total of 12 shapes so that's what I was saying you know you want to take a look at what kinds of shapes each block offers what each frame offers and just decide you know which one's going to be the best for you I personally like to use the rebar frames a lot um, rebar frames don't cost a whole lot let's get into the cost of these things so when we go inside our forge okay we're gonna click on the building tab and inside the building tab we've got our iron frame block and what you're gonna notice is that it takes 18 units of iron and five units of clay now when you upgrade the iron frame block it takes 40 iron to upgrade to the first level uh, and it's gonna take that block to a thousand durability you're gonna upgrade a second time 
and that will cost another 40 units of iron and that block will be a reinforced iron block however the durability is still the same as the full iron block it's still only a thousand durability but you're spending 80 units of iron which is pretty costly if you're going to build a base out of iron plus it's the 18 of the frame so it's basically 98 units of iron per upgrade to uh, reinforce iron uh, I don't recommend using that but uh, we'll get into that a little bit more in just a moment um, and then over here you know we've got our rebar frames it only takes again it only takes six units of iron um, I think this is like the most cost effective uh, metal frame that you can use in the game um, so if we go over here um, I just want to show you guys some things real quick about upgrading blocks so with the stone hammer you're gonna notice it's gonna take three hits to upgrade the block so one two three and then we've got our wood block one two three and our reinforced wood block uh, the iron hammer now is going to take two strikes to upgrade per block so it's gonna save you a little bit of time there if you can craft it one two three four and then of course we've got our most advanced upgrading tool which is our nail gun and it's only gonna be one hit to upgrade whatever whatever material you're using so this will be one two cobblestone all the way up to reinforced concrete um, and you know using the nail gun if you do find one uh, is gonna help you save time in in building your base and upgrading your base etc um, and then let's go out here because I want to show you guys some things over here in this little demo area so um, over here we've got our wood frame block and our flagstone our iron frame our rebar our wet concrete block and our reinforced concrete block um, and I'm gonna show you guys some things about these we're gonna do a comparison on durability and up and we're gonna also gonna look at what it costs to upgrade these things so now a wood frame is gonna cost two units of wood to make when you upgrade the, the first level it's another four wood and then another four to go to reinforce wood so it's basically ten wood ten units of wood to upgrade to a uh, reinforced wood block now the next stage of upgrading is going to be cobblestone and it's going to go one two three and you're going to notice at the bottom right hand it costs 10 cobblestone um and if you're wondering you know how do we make cobblestone etc over here in the basics tab you're going to notice there's the recipe for the cobblestone rocks and it's going to cost you uh one unit of clay and one small stone now in order to upgrade two cobblestone from any any block any material that can take cobblestone basically the wood blocks and the flagstone blocks it's always going to be the same it's going to cost you 10 so that's the cost right there now um going over to flagstone this is our next block now it's got a durability of 500 um it's kind of like the intermediary between um cobblestone and uh uh, the reinforced wood block now you cannot make a cobblestone block you have to upgrade to cobblestone um, and then how you're gonna make these flagstone blocks we'll just go into our inventory real quick um, so once you make cobblestone rocks you're gonna go into your recipes and then you're gonna notice right here okay there's our flagstone block and over on the right you're gonna see it costs four cobblestone rocks to make one flagstone block and then when you upgrade the flagstone to cobblestone it's going to be another 10 so it's going to be a total cost of 14 cobblestones per uh flagstone block that's upgraded to cobblestone so we're going to hit this one two three and then you're going to notice it's all the way upgraded to um, cobblestone and the durability is 1500 so if we go over here to our original wood frame block you're going to notice the durability is going to be the same so it's 1500 and over here this is 1500 now instead of using wood um, you know if you use the wood frame block it's going to cost you 10 units of wood plus 10 units of cobblestone now if you're upgrading 
using flagstone, it's going to cost you 14 cobblestone. So you kind of just got to pick, you know, which resources you want to use early game. You may decide that it's just easier to upgrade to wood if you have an excess of wood. Or if you don't have an excess of wood quite yet and you have an excess of rock, maybe you want to go ahead and use the flagstone and then upgrade to the cobblestone. Now let's head over here. We're going to be taking a look at our iron frame block. And like I said earlier, I really don't think these things are worth it. Again, you know, it's like an insane amount of iron to upgrade these things now they do offer higher durability than wood um, they do not offer a higher bill uh, durability than cobblestone but when I upgrade this block here what you're gonna see is the durability is now a thousand um, and you know it's 40 iron it's a lot of iron um, and then again it's not as durable as our cobblestone which is 1500 and if I upgrade this guy one more time to reinforce iron, you can see it took another 40 units of iron. It's just like 96, I think it's like 96 iron total. Um, and then take a look at the durability. It stays the same. So you're spending a lot of iron and it's only upgrading to a thousand durability block. And then again, over here, our cobblestone is 1500. So in my opinion, I think you should just totally save your iron and save your iron. Uh, save it for the rebar frames and then over here we'll take a look at in just a minute is these iron bars I would t highly recommend you just do that now you may be thinking like well I really like the way this looks I think it looks cool um, I agree but you know again if you're looking to save costs on materials especially early game something that you can do is you if you go into your paintbrush you're gonna notice right here there is a metal reinforced paint so all we have to do is just paint this cobblestone block and then now you've got that iron frame or excuse me that reinforced iron frame look um so yeah so that's the little tips and tricks on that we're gonna head over here to the rebar so with the rebar frame again it's a six unit cost of iron and one unit of clay now when we upgrade this we're only going to be upgrading once because it's going to go directly to reinforced concrete over here, this is what the reinforced concrete is going to look like. And what you're going to notice here is that the uh, durability is 5,000. Um, when Once this dries, it's going to go straight to reinforced concrete. But like, let's say if we went over here and we decided to upgrade this wood frame block to concrete. Now the concrete, while it's wet, is going to be a durability of 1250. However, once it dries, it's going to be a durability of 2500 um, <clears throat> and so um, you know you may be wondering like again why would I want to even make these wet concrete blocks um, versus just upgrade the current block that I have to con wet to concrete because it's basically the same thing um, but again you know taking a look at the shapes here we've got a total of 48 shapes versus uh you know just upgrading to whatever the block is that you made to concrete because you can't change that once it's done um something that i wanted to show you guys real quick is we've got our reinforced concrete block here now if we have the ability to go ahead and make um forged steel we can upgrade this block here using forged steel. It's going to cost 10 forged steel. We upgrade it right there. And now we've got a reinforced uh, steel block. And this is the most durable block that you can make in the game. And you can see it's a 7,000 durability. So uh, let's head over here. Um, so we've got our wood bar and our iron bar. Um, and the wood bar is going to cost you... Uh, six units of wood. It's going to be a durability of 300 and then again the iron bar is going to be 2500 durability now it does cost you 125 iron so if you're a little low on iron but you're gonna you know you decide that you're going to be using wood bars or that you're going to be using bars in general the wood bars aren't that bad um, now even though it's 300 durability, you know, the cost is cheap. And what I'm going to show you guys something is just a little little tip here. So when I have um, the uh, bar lined up like this, I can double line it. So as you can see, I can rotate this and then I can slap that down. And now I've got these stacked together. And so there's like a, like a little row of two. 
Um, so it doesn't change the durability, but it, what it does is it adds another layer to your bars. So it's a total of 600 durability. So when the zombies are breaking through it, that's 300. And then they got to go to the second one, which is 300. Um, if you're thinking like, well, maybe I've got all these wood bars here. I just want to upgrade them to iron. You can do that. Um, as long as you crafted forged iron, you can go ahead and upgrade these wood bars. Now it does take a cost of 10 units. And when you're doing the math and everything, basically what it boils down to is you're going to spend a little more clay, uh, making forged iron to upgrade your wood bars to forged iron. Um, and you're going to save like a little bit of iron instead of just making the iron bars straight from the forge. But I would say is that it's kind of neither here nor there because you're only going to be saving a cost of five units of iron this way. Um, so, you know, if you got some extra clay around and you don't want to make iron bars, you can just make the forged iron and then you can use that. And then, like I said, you know, once you upgrade it, what you're going to notice here is now it's an iron bar. It's 2,500 durability, same as that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's all I wanted to show today. I just wanted to show you guys some tips and tricks with all of the blocks, what they upgrade to, and just compare their durability and all that. The last thing that I wanted to get into, though, is I wanted to get into uh, some more aesthetics and I'm going to show you guys some stuff that's going on with the paintbrush. So um, <clears throat> when you access your paintbrush menu, you're going to see all of the different types of paint that you can paint your base with. Um, you know, and you know, you just figure out, you know, which, which kind of paint that you like to use. If you go into creative mode, you can actually, um, see what all of these paints look like on the uh, you know whatever base that you're building um otherwise in game you're gonna have to spend um oil and chrysanthemum to make your paint so if you don't like the paint job just go grab some more oil get some more chrysanthemum and then there you go uh and then it's got a few tools so let's go ahead and open up the tools so if you notice if you select the paintbrush every time you go to uh, paint, it's going to paint one block. And it's only going to paint that side. So like if I paint right here and right here, it's only going to paint that. And you notice like on the side of the windowsill, I have to actually hit that one more time. If you don't want to do all of that, you can select the paint all sides option. So instead of just like, you know, hitting all four sides of the block, you can come over here and just hit it once and it's going to hit all sides of the block. So that's that's a nice little feature that they added into the paintbrush, um, and this is our paint roller tool. When we use the paint roller roller tool, it's definitely going to have, it's definitely going to cover like a lot more space. Um, it is going to cost more paint, but when I hit the wall there, you're going to see it's going to cover a 12 block strip. So uh, that's pretty nice. Um, now, if you use the spray gun, it's going to hit a much larger section. So as you can see it's just going to paint the whole pretty much the whole wall i mean you could do this whole wall in two three strokes just about um and if let's just say you know what i really want to change this thing all you have to do is just right click and boom now it's erased so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please leave a like and comment also make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're going to be coming back with more uh, seven days to die alpha 19 gameplay and tips and tricks videos we will catch you in the next video